all right guys this one is new to my channel now i've had this one for almost two months but i have not even drove it uh hardly at all since i got it uh, i think i drove it one time uh, when i first got it i noticed um, with the stock axles the steering when i would max the steering out you know either way um it would hop i mean literally um the uh, geometry was just awful in the uh in the stock setup so um i went ahead and got i should have got the wpl brand um axles they don't cost an arm and a leg so um but what i got is i got like a even a cheaper version of them and they look nice and everything they're almost just like the wpls but um they need to be shimmed and what was happening was is um my diff my my gear going into that diff kept on just it wasn't even making a connection on either one and i didn't have uh, proper shims to, that, that small just to just to get it fit, fit it up right so i just made temporary shims today literally with just like tape around so that way this drive shaft won't slide back and pull this out so and it's actually working pretty effectively for now until i get some shims and, and get it fixed up right in there so definitely if you get one of these and uh, I do recommend getting some axles for it. It does need some upgrades right out the box in my opinion Yeah, it does run but it's got some issues. I think especially with the steering um, But now my steering is just fine. I mean, it's it's I have no issues at all And what's neat is there's a little controller here you can turn the it says brake right there you can turn the drag brake off and on by that switch and then you also have your steering rate so if you do get this thing stock and you don't like what i'm talking about like you can cut the steering back say so with the switch on off it has that much steering with it on there you can see it it has just a little bit more so it gives you more steering with that button but also while that button is pressed to get that extra steering it just uh like i said the geometry is not set up correctly on the stock um axles and the thing will just hot it'll automatically just cause it to just drop down on one side when you steer it real sharp <clears throat> it was enough to just get on my nerves to the point where I, then i had the problem with the the differentials need to be shimmed and i just sat the thing up and, and parked it but I got a temporary fix on it now, and I was able to get it out and drive it and show you guys. It's a it's a really fun little RC. I like the clearance on it. I like the height. Um, I did change the uh, the stock tires out. I had to, I had a spare set of these just sitting around. You can find these on um, at Amazon, and they are beadlock. They make a chrome set, and then of course this set here. And I just had these sitting around. They're beadlock and they're they're uh, foam filled nice and soft and they got they got much better grip than the stock one so I, I dropped these on there i thought they looked fine they seem to be doing the job just fine I, I everything else is stock on this thing except for well i did change the the drive shafts i bought the aluminum ones i definitely would upgrade uh to take the plastic ones off put aluminum drive shafts on this thing um that's the number one thing i did because i think when i first took it out the first thing that that slipped on me was the drive shaft so I had a spare spare aluminum set um, from one of my other WPLs. I put it on this, and then that's when I noticed the steering was an issue. So I ordered those um, those axles, and and you know the rest of the story. So like I said, I just today I just got a temporary fix with some tape, keeping uh, it's really keeping the drive shafts from sliding. Um, it flexes just fine, you know, and everything right now everything's working okay, and. Um, so once i get the thing shimmed up right it should be all right i believe it has a 280 motor in it um has has enough little bit of torque it's really good for uh trail driving um it's, this thing can be fixed up to be a pretty awesome little crawler i believe but um i'm not going to put a whole lot more into it um i like it just kind of the way i got it fixed up now um i'm actually going to drive it i'm, I'm going to fix the shims on it and just drive it the way it is i guess the way i got it fixed um and um keep it as my little 16 scale trail rig but uh anyway if you guys have any questions or anything hit me up in the comments and if you like this video like this rc uh hit that like button 
you want to uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you ain't subscribed i got hundreds of videos check out and as always guys thank you for everything